So hello, in this video I'm going to talk to you about Torque Pro and the, and the MQT V2 add-on. So, uh, if you guys have Torque Pro and you have a Evo 10, what I, what I advise you to do is advise you to, to install the add-on, there is a cost, I think it's like 11 euro that basically uh, is connected to um, uh, Rack's patch and Mod 23, okay? So, with this, uh, this add-on, you will, you will basically be able to see information that has, are not on the standard information coming from the OBD2. For example, SST temp, even clutch temp, uh, old clutch, uh, odd clutch stamp and then you can see the the pressure for the even clutch and for the odd, odd clutch if you guys have an SSD. I found it extremely useful because you're able to monitor uh, the the uh, the transmission temperature which is very very important especially for the track or for the road. I think many have a question on how you co you kind of configure that. I managed to figure it out. Uh, it wasn't uh, so hard but I managed to figure it out so basically uh, all you need to do is you need to go to the MQTV2 right and then you go on these dots over here first of all you do mode selection so you choose which patches you have the best one is this it's faster so if you guys have Evo 10 racks patch installed, you choose that one. I'm not going to make any changes now because it might it might mess it up. And then you go to the plugin settings, okay? Basically, this is very, very, very critical here. E enable disable plugin PLDs for current mode. So you choose that. And I have discovered because I had extremely low uh, polling speeds. I have discovered that you should only choose the PIDs you want to poll. Poll meaning you want to show on your screen. Okay, so don't choose many. Just choose the ones you want to 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 see. So I have basically chosen uh, SST related information like SST temp, uh, odd clutch temp, uh, even clutch temp and odd clutch pressure and even clutch pressure you can edit them from here meaning that you can change the wording from here uh, so you can have like smaller letters or if it doesn't fit and everything okay so after you've chosen that okay then you click ok all right you also have to to check for example uh, information like uh, uh, toggle adapter full control this should be on and also, uh, you should choose uh, to toggle a start MUT with, with Torque Pro. So when Torque Pro starts, MUT will also start by itself automatically. And also, you should ena enable uh, high-speed pulling. Okay, that will help you basically to have very quick information on your on your gauges. So after you do that, you kind of exit from here, and then you go on Torque. So then you will be ready to uh, add the PIDs that you've that you've entered. What that means is that just click anywhere in here, and then click Add Display. Choose the display you want. For example, that one here. And then if you go down to E, you will be able to see. So. If you if you see here, this is in different color. All right, everything else is different. So you can see here information coming from uh, MUTV2. All right, so so then you choose that and then it's done. I'm not gonna make any mistakes because I have it already. I'm not gonna make any changes because I have it already. So this is how you see this information. It's real time, so it's not. There's no. There's not any delay. I had I had some delays before, and the way I fixed this delay, uh, it was this. The polling speed was like seven to eight seconds, which was massive delay. 
the way I fixed that was I disabled some PIDs uh, from MQTV2 that I wasn't pulling, I wasn't using, and then immediately it fixed itself. So just make sure you do that in case you guys have any have any issues with that. Um, so yeah, that's it, basically, from my side. Uh, if you have any questions, then just ask below or comment below, and uh, I'll be more than happy to to, to help you out, guys. So, thank you.